Hey guys, welcome back to another Azulane update overview video. I'm Ander, and today we're going to be going over the brand new update for the Idolmaster collaboration, also known as Azur Anthem. In this video, we'll be going over all the new ships and all the other changes that come along the way. I'll see you in the video. As with every update, there are some brand new skins for our brand new ships. Every one of our Idolmaster girls have now a kimono skin available for purchase, and along with that, there's also two other skins for Z2 and Yugure. All of them are fairly nice, so pick them up if you are interested. There is also a new dorm set called 765 Production, or maybe it's just 765 Production, and it most likely models the inside of the office of the talent agency that the Idolmaster girls train in. So, it's there, and you can buy it if you want. Over in the commissions tab, you may have noticed that there is an event commission that you can get once per day. It actually does not count towards the four that you can do at one time, so make sure to do it every single day to go and get yourself some bonus gear skins and some other cool rewards. Speaking of gear skins, there are some new ones that, like always, you can go and purchase through either the event shop right here for 2,000 event currency or for 7,000 gold in the general shop. As you can see, they kind of messed up a couple of names of these gear skins. So, for instance, the rose torpedo and the lipstick torpedo and the glow stick torpedo. And you can also go and get these gear skins by playing on the event map as a rare drop, as you can see over here. Just like every other event, as you accumulate event points, you'll receive some rewards. If you head on over to this tab, your point accumulation ship this time around is going to be none other than the munitions ship, Ritsuko Akizuki. Definitely be sure to go and get at least 10,000 points, because once this collaboration's over, then I'm pretty sure this ship will never come back. Over in the event tab, there is also a new mini game that you can play for 7 days in order to get a limited time gear called Shining Bracelet. It is called the Manju Meet and Greet, and in this mini game, all you have to do is fulfill all the incoming Manju's requests by clicking on the various merchandise in the back. So for instance, this Manju right here wants a bag, a bracelet, and a cup, and then you get points. You have a limited time to fulfill each Manju's request, so make sure that you do it really fast if you want a high score. If you want the bracelet, all you have to do is just get at least one Manju fulfilled, click the back button, quit the game, and then that's it. So once you do this for seven times, and it says that every one of these down here are cleared, you can get yourself a shining bracelet. For the Azuranthum event shop guide for this event shop, if you aren't planning on farming SP4 or the VSP stage, and also haven't gotten her from the gacha yet, be sure to pick up at least one copy of Azusa Miura over here. She is a heavy cruiser, and since she is from this collaboration, she'll be limited to just this event, and she'll be gone forever once it's over. For the rest of the items here, it's the same as usual. Be sure to pick up your Series 4 now PR blueprints. Both the normal and the rainbow are very good, and since they're Series 4, you can get a really nice jump start on the brand new ships. Some other good options include your purple general parts, your gold and oil in case you're running low on them, and your gold cap boxes are nice. And of course, these limited time gear skins are very good too. Now for how to farm Azur Anthem. This event is quite easy, all you have to do is just go and make sure that you do all four of these normal stages and unlock your SP stage. So of course, do your VSP stage every day for that nice 800 event currency, as well as the chance to get Azusa Miura and some gear skins. You can also get the Neptune gun right here, so that's pretty nice. And once you do your SP stage, I would just recommend doing SP4, for the exact same reasons, some nice collab points, some gear skins, Azusa Miura, and of course that wonderful Nep gun, which is of course a very good light cruiser AP gun. Now onto our ship review section of the video, our first ship to talk about is going to be a new light cruiser named Haruka Amami. She has fairly decent stats actually, she has slightly higher than average HP, and is actually the fourth highest torpedo stat out of all light cruisers tied with Swiftsure. Onto her skills, her first skill being cutesy clumsy, every second in battle she has a 10% chance to deal 43 damage to herself, and if this effect activates, then she heals herself and the lowest HP% percent ship for 5% HP after 3 seconds, and this effect can activate 2 times per battle. Overall it's fairly unreliable, but it's always nice to have. For her second skill, whenever she fires her second wave of torpedoes in battle, she increases all enemies' damage taken by 15% for 5 seconds. Then after this, so say her third torpedo launch and onwards, whenever she fires her torpedoes, she decreases her own damage taken by 8%, and this can stack for 2 times, meaning that if she fires 4 torpedoes and onwards, she can get a nice 16% damage decrease. And finally, her third skill, 
is simply a special barrage every 15 seconds. Overall, she's a pretty decent light cruiser, good for beginners, and decent if you want to use her later on, but definitely there are better alternatives. But overall, she's a very usable ship. The next new Idol Master ship to cover is going to be Chihaya Kisaragi, who is a new carrier. She has fairly average stats in every single category, but her skills are quite good. For her first skill, when she launches her first airstrike, she has an 80% chance with a subsequent 100% chance on any extra airstrike to go and launch a special airstrike. At the start of battle, if there's another Idol Master ship in the same fleet as her, then she instead increases the first activation chance to 100% chance instead of 80. For her second skill, Whenever she sinks an enemy, she increases her own aviation and reload by 5% until the end of battle for a max of 3 stacks for a max of 15% extra aviation and reload. If there is yet again another idol master ship in the same fleet as her, then she instead instantly gains those 3 stacks at the start of battle. Finally for her last skill being alongside the ocean's wings, she decreases the loading time of her first airstrike by 30%, which is very good and then she decreases the damage taken by 10% for any idol master ships in the same fleet as her, which includes herself of course. Overall, Shihai Kisaragi is going to be a definitely a great backliner for mob fleets, with a faster airstrike over here, and a fantastic wide hitting barrage that covers the majority of the screen right here, she is pretty solid. Next up we have Iori Minase, who is a new battleship. Just like Chihaya Kisaragi, she has average stats in every single category. For her first skill, being Iori Strike, her damage dealt to heavy armor is increased by 15%. In addition, whenever she launches her main guns, she has a 100% chance to go and fire a special barrage. Her second skill, being Iori Defense, is at the start of battle, she randomly chooses one other ship in the same fleet as her, and decreases their damage taken by 10% for 30 seconds. Once this effect wears off, then she heals that ship for 10%. Overall, there's a lot of other better battleships out there, but she's always a pretty okay alternative, and you can definitely use her if you like her. Our last super rare ship to cover in this event is going to be Azusa Miura, who is our event shop slash map drop reward, and is a heavy cruiser. Her stats are very similar to Portland Retrofit, and for her first skill, Whenever she fires her main guns, there is a 30% chance to increase her own main gun damage by 50% for 3 seconds and her anti-air by 15% for 5 seconds. This can activate once every 5 seconds. For her second skill, being Healing Augury, as long as she is afloat, then she decreases your main fleet's damage taken by 5% and at the start of battle she tells a fortune and receives one of the 4 effects, either evasion up by 12%, accuracy or firepower by 12%, or healing herself for 15% of her HP. Finally, her last skill, being directionally challenged. Every 20 seconds after the battle starts, she fires a special barrage, and if she is the only one in the vanguard, then if she fires her barrage, then she becomes lost. And then she stops in place for 2 seconds. That's interesting. But overall, you can think of Azusa as another Portland retrofit. Now for our two new elite submarines, we have both Mami and Ami Futami. I'll just group them together in one big review because they're almost the identical character with the same average stats and almost the identical skills. And overall, I'll just say, if you like them, then you can use them. They're pretty cute. But other than that, if you have any other submarine, like literally any other submarine, they're probably better. <laughs> anyway, for Mami, her prankster's cheer is quite interesting. When she enters a battle, she is indeed a prankster because she decreases the speed of a random ship in the main fleet by 1 for 1 second, which as you may recall, the main fleet ships don't move. They're stuck in that stationary ship in the- okay, anyway. She then heals them for 100 HP, which who knows, maybe she might save the day one day, and increases her accuracy by 8% for 20 seconds. Now also, Mommy shoots a special barrage when she enters the battle. That- that's all. Finally, our last ship to cover is going to be our point accumulation reward, who is Ritsuko Akizuki, who is a munition ship. She is the second munition ship added to the game after Kashino, and overall she'll be pretty interesting to use in battle because of her yellow skill right over here. 5 seconds after the battle starts, as well as every 20 seconds, she fires a special barrage, and any enemies hit by this barrage take 15% more damage from Idolmaster collab ships for 5 seconds. 
at the start of battle. Also, if there are no more than three idol master ships in the same fleet as her, she then increases her firepower by 100% and also improves the barrage. That's 100%. That's two times her firepower. So that'll be interesting. And her second skill being logistics buddy, when she has cargo equipped, which is the signature thing about munition ships, they can have certain auxiliaries. She decreases the time that she burns by for 3 seconds and decreases the flagship's burn damage taken by 15% and decreases her own speed by 3. Well that's interesting. Hopefully someone will find something funny to go and use her for. With those ship reviews finished, that will bring an end to this Azerlane Idolmaster collaboration event guide. As always, if you found this information helpful, consider dropping a like and subscribing. Don't forget to press that notification bell for my future uploads as well. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions that need to be answered, and I'll try my best to reply. If you're interested, you can always join my Discord server if you need any advice or just want a place to relax. That'll be all for this video, so I'll catch you guys all later. See you next time. Bye!